Okay, let's see how we go with this. This one, we're running low on toner, so soon we're going to need our black toner. There it is, ready to go. I just unstuck, took the sticky tape off to make it a little bit easier to open while I'm videoing. Because <laughs> I don't want to use up too much time on this micro SD card. I've got, I've got only, I'm just going to make it, I've only got like, I think a total of 24 gigabytes before I started these demos. I've got to fit 15 demos onto that um, card. No, we're not doing that. I don't think we're going to do that this time. Uh, we're just going to go background colour and we're going to choose magenta. And here we're just going to add the contrast, full blast, full blast contrast. Um, going up here for that. So just going to make this nice demo. It's probably going to run out of toner soon. So bear with me when that happens. I don't want to stop this camera rolling, even though I've just downloaded a copy of, of um, I think it's called Topwin. It's the Windows Media, it's the Windows Movie Maker, the original one, or like the, you can get the original version, but I've got the Windows 7 to the Windows 10 version. It costs nothing. And it's a really good video editor. It's, it used to come as standard up until Windows 10. And this is what we're photocopying this. So up until Windows 10, it was a free... It was already pre-installed on your computer when you bought it. But now you have to fucking download it. And they made it harder, I think, a couple of years ago. And they changed... The name got changed to Topwin. Someone, a friendly guy at JB Hi-Fi, helped helped me track down this video editor. He knew what it was called, Topwin, T-O-P-W-I-N. So if you're after a, a good free video editor, yeah, I don't think you can go past this one, Topwin. And it's basically, it's basically like identical to the original Windows Movie Maker. So I'm really happy today that I got that because I have been without a video editing suite for quite a proper one. They've got a, they do have a Windows one I forgot what it's called but it's a load of shit it's it comes with your when you have I think a, a what they call a an update and it was shit nothing like the original version which is now called Topwin so yeah so it's worth downloading it's the same from what I can tell it's identical to the original pretty much and it's you, you know you, you did have it available as a download for 10, but for some reason it got changed to the name Topwin. Now what the fuck? This is stupid fucking Konica Minolta again. It just pissed me off trying to scroll through here. It's a real pain, this stupid user interface. Now we're returning to this piece of gripe that I have with Konica Minolta. Now I've forgotten. Now that's where I was meant to go. Fuck. So sorry folks, I do get angry at this machine and I get angry at the manufacturer who just cares about money doesn't care about the um the product or how the customers feel about the product um it's just a real pain in the ass but you get that yeah just like removing the the video editor off windows 10 uh and it's just crazy and then replacing it with a piece of shit that doesn't work for fuck you know, but at least I can, I can start making music videos and shit like that. And I can also time lapse my long videos, so I can make time lapsed videos. I can put them to music. It's all really cool. It's all really good shit. Um, it's good shit, not bad shit. I don't like this. Uh, it looks a bit. The the magenta is wishy washy. Uh, I'm wondering if we're just gonna. We're just going to continue with it. I'm not sure how we're going to make this look better. Uh, I'm wondering if we can make it better, but it looks really shit. The magenta is just too wishy-washy for my liking. Uh, wondering if we're just going to go and do something different, make a negative out of it. Uh, hopefully that'll, that'll make it look nicer. So we're just going to go there. And we're just going to try a negative. I got a gut feeling we're going to have to darken this, so we're just going to pull it up. This is wasting my precious time on my 
nearly finished micro SD card, I'm afraid, folks. Uh, so now we're just going to darken this for negative. And maybe we're just going to leave it at that and see how it goes. I'm just pulling it up again because... Oh, no, we're not pulling it up. We're going to do it this way. Stuff it. Hang on, what am I doing? Oh, fuck. Confusing. When you press the start button twice, you get the number of originals, two, and then it comes out like that. This is confusing uh, Konica Minolta shit. I don't even like the look of that. That looks terrible, folks. I'm fucking... This is not a good demo, this one. This demo is shit. Uh, wondering if we're going to start from scratch and maybe, hopefully, I can fit this demo onto this micro SD card but anyway I don't like the look of that so we're just gonna what are we gonna do with this shitter we're gonna leave it on negative positive we're gonna give it a background color like we did we're gonna just keep it on red just for a change uh, we're gonna warm up the hue I think we're going to do it like that. I'm going to try again. I'm going to take a punt that this will be a better looking image. I don't want to sacrifice my demos just to save time on an SD card. I mean, I've done most of my demos have been well, uh, well, well below the prolo normal prolongated lengths that I sometimes make my demos to. So let's see if this one, this quick change has improved stuff. It still looks shit. It's just hard to do something properly when you're trying to hurry it, when you're trying to rush it. Uh, I'm wondering if we're just going to try that again or maybe I feel like I'm going to compromise. I'm just wondering how we're going to make this one look good because this hue looks too hot. I don't like the green in the faces at all. I don't like it, so I'm going to switch that off and I'm going to switch off the red. We're just going to go here, and the hue is going to go, we're going to cool it down to the middle, and maybe we're going to add some red, and the hue will go a little bit cooler, and so let's see how we go here, the contrast, we can remove that, and the brightness, we're just going to the usual darkness, so I'm just thinking if we can make this turn up a treat nice and quick, that would be a bonus because we want this demo not to be too long because I've got other demos, but I don't want to uh, make a fucking shitter of it. So I'm going to just quickly line it up at the edge, but I feel like I'm under the pump at the moment, and under the pump isn't good. It isn't good, folks, being under the pump. It's not good. It doesn't make a good demo often. And I don't like compromise, but I've got to deliver 15 demos. It's the, that's the amount we have to do. I haven't done that for a long time because I've had to wait. I've been waiting for the delivery of a pair of micro SD cards, which are rated at 128 gigabytes. And that's going to cover me for a long time. But until then, I had to... That doesn't look too bad. Until then, I had to bloody... Um, keep my demos restricted to five at a time so I could keep myself busy because I don't want to have times when I'm not doing demos. So I've been really, I get really pissed off when I can't do anything and have nothing to do. I'm busy trying to get as much on YouTube and Facebook as possible and the toner is low. Yeah, that's right. It's normal. It's, it still says low toner. It doesn't say toner out yet. Hopefully it won't say toner out until a bit later. Uh, but that colour looks good in the middle. The red has come up a treat, so maybe this under the pump demo isn't going to be a loss after all. We're not going to compromise anymore because it surely looks good, even though I've been trying to work this as quick as possible because I don't want my card to run out of space mid-demo. I want to have a little bit left on the card, just a touch, if I can... It's not, I don't like making it too tight, but if I can make it tight, if it can somehow work out that way, that'd be, that'd be excellent. Um, anyway, we're just going to quickly line these up. The colours are looking brilliant, and the red just goes well with those two, those three colours. 
So it looks like this under the pump. It's going to be a prolonged demo. It's, it's more than 10 minutes now into it. But if I can make all my other demos relatively quick, well, I should be, I should be on top, hopefully. And then I can send these up to YouTube and do whatever I want with them, video edit them and shit like that. So I just got to try and line this one up a bit better. It's a little bit crooked. Anyway, that looks good. I think now I can call it quits.